Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites, the best place online for you to get your shark fix. We've got another Sharks in the News video for you today and this news story was going absolutely crazy last week on the socials. But before that, make sure you click on this little link here where you can learn about some brand new research on climate change and epaulette sharks. Back to today then, and it's time to travel back a few million years in shark evolution terms to check out this crazy news story. Last week, researchers finally released a fossilized puzzle that they've been looking at for the last nine years. And I will tell you straight up, this is an absolutely bonkers discovery. This illustration shows us what the bizarre newly named eagle shark would have looked like cruising through our oceans about 93 million years ago. This odd shark known scientifically as Aquilo Lamna Milase had large wing-like pectoral fins and a wide gaping mouth, much like today's manta rays, but strangely has a body and a tail more similar to that of pelagic shark species. Honestly, it literally looks like someone has stitched together a mega mouth shark, a manta ray, and a great white shark. What a monstrosity. <laughs> the weird thing about this shark though is that it existed about 30 million years before the ancient manta ray ancestors were cruising around our oceans. The researchers say it was likely a planktivorous feeder due to that large wide gaping mouth and supposed small teeth. However, it should be noted that no teeth were actually preserved in the fossils, so the researchers are kind of speculating here. It does also seem that it was a little bit smaller than today's manta rays, with a wingspan of about six feet and an overall body length of about five and a half feet. This awesome fossil was discovered in northeast Mexico all the way back in 2012 on a slab of limestone, which has managed to preserve large parts of that cartilaginous skeleton. Back during the Cretaceous period, this area of Mexico was actually covered by a stretch of water known as the Western Interior Sea seaway and this sliced through North America all the way up to the Arctic Circle. Now some of you may be saying if this species looks so much like a ray then is it a precursor species to rays or some kind of distant ancestor? Well interestingly according to the researchers it isn't and is perhaps instead evidence of something known as convergent evolution which is really cool. To put it simply convergent evolution is where groups of species who are not closely related to each other independently evolve similar features or traits. This is likely as a result of having to adapt to similar environments or particular ecological niches. A very basic example of convergent evolution would be how lots of marine species are similarly designed in terms of streamlining. Take sharks and dolphins, for example, who both have long, thin bodies perfectly designed for swimming through water. We don't know for sure why the eagle shark eventually went extinct. However, the researchers do suggest that it was likely caused by the infamous asteroid strike that wiped out the dinosaurs in the late Cretaceous period. The asteroid calcified planktonic organisms, which was likely the food source for this eagle shark, meaning they probably went extinct pretty quickly, alongside 75% of all animals on Earth at the time. So a pretty crazy end for this bizarre shark species. Let me know in the comments what you think of the eagle shark and if you have any other favorite prehistoric shark species, I'd love to hear all about them in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.